So today we had an update to add camos in Blackout. This is something that I think should have been implemented a little closer to launch, but it's nice to see it implemented now. This falls closely behind yesterday's update that added the ability to put reactive camos on any gun that you have unlocked gold camo on, as long as you have unwrapped the reactive camo on its original weapon. This is great for Blackout because it means I can put the Plasma Drive camo from the KN57 on something like the Rampart or Vapor that doesn't have a reactive camo, right? Except no. Blackout is still limited to only allowing that particular weapon's reactive camo. I'm not sure why they would switch it up in multiplayer, but not allow that same diversity in Blackout, especially since the system is definitely there to support it. But there's another caveat to this update, and it's not a good one. You cannot use any mastery camos in Blackout. That means no gold, diamond, or dark matter. I'm not sure why I'm surprised, because we still don't have official support for mastery camos in zombies. Hopefully at some point they do plan on implementing mastery camos and even allowing reactive camos across all weapons in Blackout. Next up, we got a nerf to armor and armor repair. So repair and armor has been increased to 3 seconds from the previous two. And all armor now has the exact same durability, which is 500. The same that level 1 was previously. This is actually really good because as you progress in armor level, it was increasing survivability on two fronts. It was reducing more damage, but also lasting longer as you go from armor 1 to 2 and then 2 to 3. What this means is that you can still tank 400 incoming damage with level 3 before you die, since it reduces damage by 50%, but doing so will leave level 3 at 100 durability. This means you can kill a level 3 armor player and still have a chance to pick up that armor. Which brings me to my last point in this video, everyone hates going against level 3 tanks and blackout in the final circles however it's exactly what everyone wanted people wanted their kills to mean something and to be able to pick up level 3 armor from loot bags so they are rewarded rather than punished when looking for kills well if everyone is looting a level 3 armor they killed then of course more and more people will have level 3 going into the end game if durability is lowered anymore it will be a toss-up whether or not you can actually pick it up from another player if their durability was under 400 and you killed them while they had a trauma kit then you don't get that level 3 armor because their armor would have broken i'd argue that's worse than having to deal with level 3 armor not being able to pick it up yourself so my solution to this, or my proposed solution, is to allow armor to break, but be equipped while broken. In its broken state, it would not absorb any additional damage, and it would also remove the cosmetic effect from the player that shows they have armor. In order to repair your armor from a completely broken state, you will need to use three armor plates to get it above 300 durability. At that point, it becomes effective again, but also ensures that you can rightfully loot level 3 armor when you take someone out that is using it and destroy their armor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like and subscribe is always appreciated, and I'll see you next time.